Hey everybody, I'm back. This is Paul W1VLF and welcome back to the lab. After I finished that other video about the noise with this uh, battery charger here, uh, I went in uh, the infinite parts pile and uh, I found one of, the, one of these um, line filter inductors. And I'll show you some close-up pictures of this. This is not the exact one that fits in, in this power supply. But it's very similar, and I had a whole bunch of these, so I figured, ah, what the hell. I'll put it in and uh, do a quick test and show you how much difference this, uh, how much difference putting in just the inductor out of this differential low-pass filter makes in the noise level, okay? It's one little component here I'll show you better. I don't know what this thing costs, maybe 20 cents? This is just one of those components, and it's just on the input. It's not on the output. So between this and the X and Y capacitors and the output filtering, this probably could be a reasonably quiet power supply. Uh, and one other thing, <clears throat> just real, uh, here's, here's what I was using as a load. This is a um, 100 ohm, 200 watt power resistor. So that was what I was, was taking the place of my battery um, at one amp. So an amp at 50 volts, 50 watts. And um, I wrecked the Group W bench. So, <laughs> one thing you got to be careful of when you're when, is, is that you don't let your mind drift. So, 50 watts over the course of half an hour, I just left it laying on the bench. It was going to be just a quick test. And, of course, something else came up. Totally forgot about it. It melted through. And the little, little chunks of the Group W bench are here now. And I got a big burn mark. So, just be careful when you're messing around with this stuff. Or anything. Always keep your mind on what you're doing. By the way, I am not, I am not suggesting that anybody goes in and, and puts this choke in like this. You're dealing with 120 volts. Eh. Uh, I did it because uh, I'm not as smart as you guys. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I'll, I'll show you the rest of the video. This is this was only meant to be a really quick update. All right, thanks. See you over at the bench. See you over at the ham shack. Okay, so we're back over here at the uh, Ham Radio Shack computer, and right now if we look over here, sort of the same conditions as yesterday, uh, basically, what, well, minus 125 with, in the middle of the lightning crashes, and there's quite a few of them, so something's brewing up somewhere. Um, just going to let it run for a few seconds here, so you can get a baseline idea of what uh, the noise level is like again uh, running the six meter antenna the very you know very short obviously for for 40 meters and that ambient noise level at minus 20, 125 shows that so I'm gonna run into the other room and then uh, we will I'll put the power supply on with a one amp load and running in the normal way and then I'm gonna insert that choke that I showed you one only one component of the R5 filter, so uh, here here goes here goes nothing. Okay, so we're back. I just turned on the uh, battery charger with the one amp supply on it, and you can see how high the noise floor got uh, in between the carriers as well as in these carrier areas right here. So. Let me uh, just push this up a little bit. So I'm going to try to get all three of these on the screen at the same time. Be right back. Okay, so I inserted one component, which is that little transformer, excuse me, not transformer, uh, the two series chokes that are on the common core. And look at what happened to the noise floor in between and the actual carrier power. And that's just one of the components that 
should have been designed into this on the input side and then there's a, a filter as well on the output side so this power supply could be made quiet if all the right components were installed but to save a couple of bucks they didn't anyway thanks a lot for uh, checking this out hit the subscribe button if you can and this is w1vlf signing off